Good morning, folks. We're watching footage of Chaba pounding Asia. South Korea and Japan took solid wax from the typhoon and there are fatalities. The footage of that coming later is incredible, but we've also got news from above our heads with the sun. Hurricane Matthew is about to break records at the U.S. coastline, and more oceans have been discovered in our solar system. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find an unfamiliar sight compared to recent months. We've got sunspot groups with the primary ones still incoming towards center disk. We haven't yet had any solar flares and the sunspots really have some work to do. We'll analyze the two on the disk and note one more cresting in now. Up north we've got gamma classification now as you can't separate the polarities with one continuous line. You definitely can do that down south, but we'll watch for trailing development as the size of this group is pretty solid. Solar wind finally calming down. Speed dropped the last few notches it needed in order to bring back geomagnetic quiet. Folks, 11 days after it began, 6 days after we thought it was over, it finally is. By the way, even though you can only see the south leading extension of the coronal hole, the darker patch north of the incoming sunspot is actually part of that opening too, we just can't see it well right now. Back to Korea and Japan, there are at least 5 dead and that number is likely to rise as damage to property is paling in comparison to watching cars with their lights on being swept away like we saw with their tsunami back in 2011. Best of luck in the recovery. And to folks on the coast here, best of luck in the endurance. We're going to run through the weekend with the timestamp below. If you live in coastal areas, you should already be on alert. Many of you need to be gone already, and if you haven't evacuated, you may be running out of time as highways are jammed, and that's not where you'd want to be in this storm. Eyes open through the weekend, and it may simply swing out, gain strength, and come right back and do it again. Top news today includes yet another ocean in our solar system. We're focused now on Dion and comparing it to the recent news about Enceladus and its ocean with a thin shell atop about a 20 kilometer deep one. Dion's shell is thicker by up to three times, but the ocean is two to four times as thick as well, nearly a hundred kilometers deep in some cases. We've also got a fascinating look at how the planetary geometry dictates the Martian dust storm seasons and they think the planets are about to help kick off a major dust storm event on the red planet soon. Wouldn't want to be in a secret base there right now or anything, right? Yeah. Anyway, folks, we've got big updates coming soon on the conference. Talk topics are coming in, and observing the frontier is shaping up to be fairly epic. Eyes open for a second video posted today or tomorrow afternoon with more information. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.